Hello, this is Hark and Amin, and today we are going to be reading about Joke Entity 666, also known as the Chicken Man. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Entity number 666. Habitat everywhere. Description, the Chicken Man. His armor? A dreadful piece of protection, forged into flames with the sun, mauled after the simplest of creatures, a domesticated biped, and it's still possessing the resistance of gods lost to time. A shell so simple, yet so effective. His weapon? He simply does not need one. The entry of his existence alone is enough to destroy anything, and everything in his path. The aura exerted by his armor combined with his radiance results in the creation of the most powerful offense to have seen daylight. May God have mercy on those that come face to face with this titan's wrath. His motives? Enigma. Many have their eyes set at this dreadful beast's desires from this world, or rather, what it wants from us. Why it does what it does as to us. Why it likes to make, make us feel a pain. Perhaps these motives should remain incomprehensible. Some things are best left unknown. One shudders at the mere thought of coming face to face with the chicken man, a beast that cannot be slain by any blade, a horror made from the flames of the damned, a terror who, whose prowess can decimate the grace of warriors in seconds, a wretched demigod with the knowledge of a thousand civilizations soared inside its brain and a dozen times over. The chicken man roams the back rooms, the only known realm that can shackle a beast of his caliber. Why this is the case is unknown, but he has made a sick game of what was supposed to be his eternal imprisonment. No place is safe from his gaze, no fortress can withstand it, his onslaught. If one had already thought that their invented accurate will torture, then they will come to realize that it only gets worse hereafter. The hope for survival diminishes from those who stand before him as he looks down on them. Their begs and pleas do nothing to stop him from lacerating it, airing them into ribbons. All that is found of his victims is teeth and hair. That is dark, dang. Behaviors. The chicken man lives only to hunt. There is always a special summon in mind during his travels also, through the back rooms. And that special summon could, scarce, could consider themselves the least fortunate person to have ever roamed the world. No morals bind him to an oath which he follows. No such thing as context of one's existence matters to him. No forces are powerful enough to reverse his choices. Once his elective is chosen, not even God can change his mind. Biology. One shudders to imagine what lies beyond the mask of the beast. Some postulate that darkness makes up its very essence, an amalgam of all the vices and that plague the universe, tripled in their intensity and melted together to form him. Others think that it is light that shapes the beast, and that he is simply a messenger sent from the heavens to purify the world in preparation for the grace for ashes to come. Regardless, the idea that this monster was specifically made with malice just so he could harm people as efficiently as possible is inconceivable from any theory that has been brought forth to explain its existence. Discovery The Chicken Man was never discovered. He was born from the void alongside the rest of the world, favored by the agents for his ability, and cast into a personally made hell. When he reaches his nadir, what does that word mean? Now, now, those of sufficient intelligence know that this prison is not enough to hold him forever. Do's and don'ts. Do, if you see by, pray that your evisceration is swift and painless. There's not much left that you can do to circumvent and to this happening. Make peace with your demons. Accepts of one's fate makes the process much easier. Don't attempt to fight back. <clears throat> if you 
is not brave or valiant, rather it is futile, and the pathetic to even dare to injure the chicken man. Seek his present. If he has not yet sought after you, then evade him for as long as you can. Something in the entity number 666, we got something pretty odd. But you would be really surprised by what there is in 667. Which is probably what you would expect from 666, actually. Let's go ahead and look at entity number 667, also known as Satan. Of course, there's another joke entity. Entity number 667, Habitat's Hell. Description. Entity 667 is a large... Oh, is this... When does that have estimated him to be around 2-3 meters in height? Humanoid entity who is also an important figure in all Abrahamic religions. Aside from its large size, NC-667 can be distinguished from its, its bright red skin, large horns, and goatee in addition to the black three-piece suit that he is always seen wearing. NC-667 has told all that Meg uh, that his main duties are to oversee the punishment of the souls of the damned and to tempt people into sin. Despite this, he is generally amicable and is usually willing to answer questions from on the mag. NC-667 is believed to be very powerful, though the extent of these powers are currently unknown. Investigation is ongoing as to whether or not Satan is able to travel all between the uh, back rooms and the front rooms. I think he's just in the back rooms forever. A photo of, of NC-667 provided by the NZ himself. This image shows clear, shine, clear signs of airbrushing and other Photoshop techniques, but no better image could be acquired. Interview Logs Interviewed Satan Interviewer Dave Bedfordshire 4. This interview was conducted to prepare for this and for the NZ file to be uploaded into the database. Begin log. Hi, Stan. I'm just contacting you since we're adding you to the database. It's Satan. Yep, what did I say? Stan. Hmm, I'm not hearing any difference. Never mind. What were you asking? Well, Stan, as is our policy with unique Stan Fiat entities, I'm wondering if you have a presence for what number you want to see you want us to use. I think it should be pretty obvious. What? 666. I don't get it. You know, since I'm the devil, and that's the number of the devil. You're the what now? The devil in all Abrahamic religion. And Abra, what now? You don't know what an Abrahamic religion is, like Christianity, Judaism, Islam. What religion are you? I'm American, Stan. <laughs> I really gave the perfect accent to this is fellow, didn't I? That's not a religion. That's a nationality. No, I mean, I wish the country and people of the United States of America. Okay, if we're talking a nationality, I'm actually British. Rich? Dora said in an, ex in an exaggerated rich accent. Oh, I'm sorry. Rich? Saying visibly he, he vomits in his mouth. I would not have agreed to hold this meeting if you had told me that ahead of time. There's a reason I keep British hell away from normal hell. Wait, there is a British hell? I'm still giving him the American accent. Yeah, where, where did you think in British people went and when they died? Wait, so is there... Is there a British heaven too? Nah. 
So God just lets British people into normal heaven? No, we don't have British heaven because we just haven't needed one. Anyway, I'm going to have to cut this one short. Ugh. Visibly vomiting. Do you just want to go to British hell right now? It will save if, if, if you some time. Sure! Okay, that's it. Down the hall, next to the back room from Spooky Oh, you can't miss it. Thanks, Stan! <laughs> Interviewed Satan, interviewer Rita Kane. Forward. This interview was conducted to determine what happened to disappeared Earth Meg member Dave Bedfordshire. Hi, it's the 667. I came here today to. Wait, 667? I was in prophecy at 666 slot! Sorry, we were going to give it to British. Aiden. Bruce Aiden is the head of British Hell. Since he called on the I hate that guy. Dibs. But we end up finding anything that was more worthy of the slot. I fucking swear if Yahweh put you up to this. No, I then who? Who would be more or worthy of the empty six 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 slot than me, Satan? The chicken man. What? I said the... No, I heard what you said. How can I get into contact with this chicken man? Oh, I don't think you want to do that. Update September 17th, 2021. All Twitter flyers have been found posted on various levels that claim to be from HC667 himself. A transcript of one of them can be found below. Fuck you, Chicken Man. I fucking. No, wait, don't write it down. If you're reading this, Chicken Man, I'm challenging you to a fiddling contest in level 11 for the entity 666 slot. Be there or be square. Do you think that I want ends good or do we want to. No! Stop writing this down! <laughs> Instant log. September 23rd, 2021. Begin log. So. We finally meet, Chicken Man. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we begin? Very well. Satan pulls out a fiddle and begins to play hypnotizing an ethereal song. The song continues for 17 hours. <laughs> Think you can beat that? The chicken man pulls out a fiddle. Dramatic pause. The chicken and man breaks fiddle in half and lunges at Satan, stabbing him in the left kidney with the sharp end of, of the fingerboard. Ah! Oh, you stabbed me in the kidney! In the left kidney! The chicken man and removes his weapon, and blood begins to spurt from the newly more aid orifice. I'm starting to go oh, get some entity X fives. Ah, uh, blood is it's you're from the newly born eight orifice. Chicken man and drops the remaining ends with the fiddle and laceratingly tears Satan into grimace with his bare hands. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, I'm being laceratingly torn to ribbons with those bare hands. Satan, or what's left of him, falls over. Dramatic pause. Dead. Uh, I, or what's left of me, is falling over. Dead. <laughs> what the heck? Relay document. The Eleven Eagle. The devil himself finally vanquished from this realm. Just yesterday, Satan himself was slain in a riveting battle by the entity known as the Chicken Man. All this may seem far-fetched, it's true. In the fiddling contest gone sideways, Satan and Chicken Man became locked in a fierce uh, threat that it ended in the father of lies' ultimate uh, demise. We reached out to the Chicken Man for comment and have not gotten a response. Don't let uh, you think this... Don't let this fool you and think that this is the end of all evil, or as we know it, though. We reached out to the new CEO, CEO of Hell, Beelzebub, who told us that Hell is still doing fine and that they should be able to get back on their feet in no time, saying, It's no, it's never fun to get a promotion due to your boss is dying. But Satan was kind of a whiny asshole anyway, so he got what was coming to him. A painting of the battle between Satan and the Chicken Man, created by E. Isle. Some artistic liberties have been taken. Sheesh. Anyway, that was... Uh, the story of the most evil, terrifying creature or to ever or exist in any realm, and Satan. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Oh, until then, goodbye!